As the markets and oil prices slide, your monthly budget is also taking a hit. July inflation numbers out today show prices increased by 1.3 percent. Any savings you may be seeing at the gas pump are more than offset by the rising costs to fill your grocery cart. And as Reed Feist reports, it is expected to get worse. The price you pay to eat continues to climb, rising as fast as each trip to the store. Just regular grocery stores that the price have been quite a bit more, or just the, the end of the day the bills are a lot, a little bit higher than they have been in, in the past. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely seen that, like kind of each grocery trip seems to be a little bit more every time. It does definitely make it frustrating, yeah, when you see those prices go up. July inflation rising, slightly less than forecast, a positive sign for the overall economy, but for the consumer, there's reason for concern, mostly because of an over 3% increase in food prices over the year before. The low dollar, increasing transportation costs, and the drought in the West driving some of the hikes. That definitely has affected the price of things because the less stuff we can sell, the higher our prices have to be so we can make up that money. But it's meat, and specifically beef, leading the rise. The price up over 17% from last year. A low supply of cattle, rising feed costs, also because of the drought, pumping up prices to record levels. Hopefully we won't have to necessarily put up our prices. Um, we're hoping that we can, you know, just keep their prices the same as we are and just kind of ride that out. The one bright spot, gas prices were down over 12 percent, but that may only be temporary as fuel costs are now rising. Consumers are being much more cautious with the economy has slowed and many are now waiting for the official confirmation Canada is in a recession expected to come in the next few weeks. So the Bank of Canada is looking at the Canadian economy really underperforming. Uh, there's no possible way they'd be talking about increasing interest rates in this environment. If anything, they're going to keep rates steady or even lower than yet. While it's possible they may drop, food prices likely won't as fall and winter come. We're not cutting other things in order to make uh, food uh, purchases now, but if it continues, then that might start to be a choice. As more of what we eat needs to be trucked in and paid for in U.S. dollars. Reed Feist, Global News, Calgary.